Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining this week's Fun Fact Friday. Today, we're going to be going over adding widgets on your KB Core website. My name is Rebecca, and I'm part of the Allison James Estates and Home support team. I go live on Facebook every Friday at 10 a.m. PST to discuss different ways for you to improve in your real estate business. If you have any questions or comments about what we're going to be going over today, I would love to talk about them with you if you just add them in the comment section and I will get to that at the end of this video. Also, let me know where you're coming from. Are you in Florida watching or are you all the way in Southern California? It's always nice to know that our agents will be interacting with us during the Fun Fact Fridays. All right, so adding widgets to your website. We've been doing a KV Core website um, Fun Fact Friday for the last couple months, and this is going to be just a fun little fact. Um, of course, you may be asking, what is a widget? Well, a widget is an application or a component of an interface that enables a user to perform a function or access a service. In much more simpler terms, a widget is basically a little icon on your website for people to be able to access um, to be able to go in and here we have what is my home worth that's where they're going to be able to put in their um, address and then just listed is going to be where they're going to add in um, any areas or service areas they want to look and see where the properties are that were just listed and we're going to find out today how to add these icons on your property website Okay, so let's head over to our KV Core dashboard. And I'll start from the very beginning. So here we're on the dashboard. And this is after you log in, uh, you're on here, you're going to go over to Web and IDX. And I also want to pull up my website over here um, by just by clicking at the top right hand side and going to URL click out of that one so you could kind of see what we're going to be going over so right now on our website um, we have multifamily houses condos and land uh, this is the default setting for our users but we're just going to customize it a little bit today now while we're on the back end of our KV core platform we're going to go to widgets over here on the right hand side if you can see that and once we're on widgets, this is where you're going to be able to add these little widgets onto your website. So we have a home default worth widget, the just listed default widget, the default property type widget, and then there's a couple other widgets down here that are default widgets as well you can add, such as an open house default widget. Maybe you want to have the financing default widget which takes leads to a contact page for your pre-approved lenders. So today I will just be adding these three up here. Um, I do think these are the most useful for, you know, being able to show you an example. So I'm gonna select add this widget here. Um, here I wanna add and append because I don't want to replace any of the, um, tools on my website. I just want to add this to my website. So I'm going to select append. And then I'm also going to add the just listed default widget, which this widget takes leads to search a page with recently listed properties. And I will also append that. Now if I were to replace that, that would replace the home default worth widget. So let's append that one as well. And once those settings are saved, we're going to go back up here to our website and I'm going to refresh this page here. So now you can see we have the what's my home worth and the just listed. <clears throat> but because we added these, the defaulted, <clears throat> excuse me, the defaulted settings of our home uh, multifamily and land condos uh, home widgets have left. So what we're going to want to do is 
add those back by selecting default property type widget for the multifamily houses, land, and condos. So I will add that here. And I'm just going to append that. So now you can see on our website, once I refresh this over here, now we'll have the what's my home worth, the just listed, and multifamily houses, condos, and land underneath. So now when you have people who are searching, if they want to sell their home and contact you, instead of selecting uh, this little cell at the top, they'll be able to just put in what is my home worth right here, okay? Now, one more thing I do want to add is that you cannot break your KV Core website. So don't be afraid to play around with it a little bit, okay? Um, if you do want to maybe go back to your settings that were defaulted, all you will need to do is go to clear website content right here on the right hand side. And if you select clear website content and you select yes, this is going to bring your website back to the original version of itself, the default version. version. Okay. Um, that is today's fun fact Friday. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, next week, we will be going over um, the new interface of KB Core. There's a couple changes, um, and I would love to go over them with you next week on Fun Fact Friday. However, if you want to learn more about KV Core, you're more than welcome to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me using the calendly.com backslash Allison James Inc. And I would be more than happy to do a one-on-one -on -one with you and go over anything such as a system overview, maybe a lead gen. Um, if you wanted to learn how to customize your website a little bit, just go ahead and schedule that one-on-one -on -one with me and I'll talk to you then. Other than that, thank you for joining today's Fun Fact Friday, and I will again see you next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.